Subscribe if you would rather ship Leon and Claire. The Charm System. Inserting gold and silver tokens will grant you a charm with in-game benefits. There are a lot more charms, but if you understand the charm system, you can know ahead of time which charms the game has decided it will give you. Because each new game predetermines and reshuffles which charms are under which token combo and how many rolls it'll take to get it. So you're able to map all this out for your current game. There are even full reddit threads going over this. And that's what we're going over today. Early in the game, just past the quarry, you'll find the merchant in his new little shop. The exact typewriter location is here. Looking around, you'll notice these red drapes. It's actually an elevator to a shooting range minigame. Take the elevator down and you'll find a gacha machine. This is where you get your charms. But you need tokens to use the machine, so head further in and play the shooting minigame. Try to earn the highest ranks that you can, that way you can max out the silver and gold tokens for now. At the first shooting range, you can only get max 15 silver and 6 gold tokens. You can earn more later in the game at other shooting ranges. There are 4 different combinations to use these. And we use acronyms to simplify. Inserting all gold or GGG, inserting 2 gold 1 silver or SGG, inserting 1 gold 2 silver or SSG, or inserting all silver or SSS. The order you insert the token, like gold first and silver or first two gold, doesn't matter, but Capcom could change this later. Let's talk mapping. You might have seen something like this, where people have listed all the charms that can be dropped under a specific combination if you keep inserting that specific combination over and over and over. As an example, let's only consider inserting all gold. So the very first time you insert all gold, let's assume you receive the Rhino Beetle charm. Then immediately right after that, you insert all gold again, and then you get the Striker charm. So the first roll, you got the Rhino. The next roll, you got the Striker. So this is you, in effect, mapping out the gold, 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 GGG charms drop for your current game. A new game might have a completely different charms drop for GGG. I recommend you keep a spreadsheet and keep track of what charms drop under which combination and which nth roll. And it's the same for all silver. If you insert all silver five times in a row, you'll get these charms exactly. Same for one silver, two gold. Clearly, you'll be able to roll more times with silver-based combinations because you get more silver tokens than gold tokens in the game. So our goal is to determine which charms fall under which combination at which nth roll of that combination. So how exactly do you do that? Choose a save file that has your maximum tokens. Do not overwrite the save file. Save this and keep it safe. We will use this save file to map out all the combos. So let's load up the save file and map out SSS charms first. Insert all your silver tokens back to back, and at this first shooting range, you should only have 15 silver tokens max. Write down what charms drop each time you inserted all silver tokens, and you should have a list like this. All done, SSS rewards list determined. Here's your final list for SSS. Now do not save anything. Just load up that very safe save file that I mentioned, and we'll start again. We're just going back to a save file that has max tokens. We want to flesh out as many rolls as we can for each combination. Loading back in, let's insert all gold this time. Exhaust all gold tokens that you have and keep track of what dropped. You'll end up with a list like this. So all GGG rewards that I can determine have been determined. Do not save, load back up that save file and start again. Now let's try SSG or silver silver gold. Order of insertion doesn't matter, just make sure you have a total of two silvers and one gold. Keep track of what drops at which roll, and you'll get a list like this. SSG, all done. Don't save, load back up that save file, and start again. Let's do SGG. Remember, order doesn't matter, just keep track of what drops at which roll, and you get a list like this, and you're done with SGG. Remember, don't save, just load back up that fresh save file. We determined these lists, and our full list, fully mapped out, looks like this. Clearly, if you had infinite tokens, you can keep rolling and rolling and rolling. So what do you do with this information? make it easier, we'll assume we have infinite gold and silver tokens. Say under SSS, you want the chicken egg and soldier with stun rod. And because you have this mapped out, you know you need to insert SSS two times. The first insertion, you'll get the chicken egg. The next roll will be soldier with stun rod. Well, maybe now you're thinking you want the rhino beetle. Well, if you use GGG, it will be the first time you have used GGG. Therefore, you will get the rhino beetle for sure. Because we know, after mapping out, the rhino beetle drops on the first roll of GGG. Next, you want some of the SSG charms. So you use SSG five times back to back and you get all these charms just as you mapped it out. Black Bass on the first roll, Dr. Salvador on the second roll, and so on. Now, if you went back to SSS and you inserted SSS, at this point, you are now on the third roll of SSS. So if you had enough SSS tokens, you'll get the Zealot, the Don Diego, then the Maria in that order. It's the same idea if you jumped back to GGG. If you did go back to GGG and inserted GGG, at this point, you will be on the second roll of GGG, meaning you'll get the Zealot with Shield. It's merely keeping track of how many rolls of a specific combination have you done. 
As for SGG, we haven't even touched this, so we know that the very first roll that we put in for SGG will drop Leon with Rocket Launcher. The second and third time we use SGG will drop us these charms for sure. If you are curious, the order of colors does not matter, just how many total of silver and how many total of gold. Take a look at this, I know my map dark charms for SGG, but I'm inputting SGG in different ways, but I'm getting the exact drops I know that I've mapped out. Remember, you're only mapping out your charms on your current playthrough. Any new game will reshuffle and you'll have to map it out again. But if you're still here, a big thank you guys. This is my first Resident Evil video. I'm usually scared to play survival horror and the last Resident Evil I played was all the way back in Code Veronica and I just couldn't resist this one. If this kind of guide or information helped, maybe consider subscribing and letting me know how it helped you and I'll see you in the next one. Later.